coaching is done with fear, uh, incentive, and intimidation is typically what coaches use to get players to do things. Uh, and Dad never went down that road and, and really made the decision that uh, I'm going to motivate through attitudes and through treating these young men with love. Uh, saw him dealing with young men, saw him employing this unique philosophy about coaching, about dealing with people that was so different than what was out there. He just had some extremely off the charts, way off the radar, uh, unorthodox ways of motivating, uh, I guess people would call it sports psychology, but, but motivating us to be the best we can be. When we re reflect back, you know, none of us remember those things and touchdowns and stuff. It's all the other things that truly, you know, get into the core of who you are and I guess as, as you would say, get into your heart. Uh, no question, uh, Frosty taught me those things. That's the beauty of it. It wasn't just the fact that, hey, I worked with him and it, they're just football memories. Uh, and many of them really aren't even game memories per se. Uh, they're, they're something we've always promoted, the idea of enjoying the trip. They're unique memories along the way, you know, crazy kooky things that happened that he did or I did or, or whatever. It was always more than being a champion. It was always more than being a great football coach. And, and it was the total package that was part of who made up Dad. There's probably nobody, well there isn't anybody that's had more impact on me in my life, my values, uh, certainly in my playing days as that was those seeds were planted. But uh, and I think all of us can say this as we've moved on from PLU football, graduated from PLU, started our own lives and you know what's important, what kind of filters as we start making big decisions about relationships and significant others and kids and family and career and all those things. There's not a day gone by I don't think about uh, one-liners, acronyms, stories that I learned through Frosty that had meaning and, and, and uh, a point to it that filters, quite frankly, any decision, every decision I've, I've ever made. So anything and everything that is significant in my life has been influenced by him. The impact, uh, the influence he had on his players, the experience they have through, under his watch, under his leadership. Um, those are the things that mattered most to him. My dad built the mansion. I'm just going to move into it. You know, I'm going to move into the master bedroom. Uh, dad always used to say, conversely, he said, you know, I, I built the house, but Scott added the, the landscaping and the tennis courts and the jacuzzis to what we do here. And, and, uh, and I was very honored when he would ever say something like that. For them, the guys and the team, to see so much of where that came from that made me the man that I am, that came from my father it was a pretty special time in the fall and so uh, it was an awesome time to put us in this position the team has so honored dad throughout this season they're playing so well and so excited every uh, game we go to I put the patch of dad up that's sewn on their jerseys up on the locker room door and, and every guy hits it and taps it and says hey frosty as they go out to the field uh, how you look at life you know how you look at you know uh, your family your career your path the things that you value your faith uh, you know, be, be the best you can be uh, in all things. You know, and all those things about pursuing excellence and all those things, but those sound great, but to really go live that out, that, that's a state of mind. And so that was kind of Frosty's point of making the big time where you are.